Welcome friends and thank you for joining me. First of all, my apologies for my voice. I have a little bit of a cold here I'm going through. So, the issue. The issue is the trim. Over the summer, it separated here on the passenger door and it was actually, in hot days, was catching the fender. So while the car is on jack stands, waiting for some parts to arrive on the rear suspension, I decided to fix that little annoying problem. Overall, the trim is still in good shape. There is a few spots where it starts to separate, but not to a point where I want to pull it off. Not yet. So let's begin here of removal of the trim. I tried a bone tool and that didn't go well. So I decided to grab a new blade here and this actually worked really well just be careful not to scratch not to scratch the paint so slowly with patience I'm gonna cut the adhesive between the trim and the door next a few clips to break What you see, the wetness behind the trim on the door is actually the rust check that I spray every once a few years into the drain holes on the door. This prevents uh, the doors from rusting and it actually works really well. I'm doing it on all of my Volvos and I uh, truly recommend you do the same. I'd rather have it uh, uh, look like that than uh, the doors rust on you. So the trim has removed and now I need to order clips because they're not reusable. They're really brittle. So I'm going to call the dealer and order some new clips. For now, let's clean and remove the clips. <coughs> There is total of six clips that hold the trim. For some reason, uh, not all of them were present. So I guess that's a factor issue. This is a great product to clean and degrease uh, all around your tools and your car. Works really well. I should have opened the door. So my bad here, open the door so it doesn't uh, get overspray on the rest of the trim down at the bottom. My mistake. Don't forget that the vehicle is 15 year old and look at the condition of the door. Not a single spot of rust on it. I purchased this uh, double-sided tape from a local body shop supply store. Uh, apparently it's a good quality one. Also I got from them some uh, rubber discs to remove the, the tape of the car. Make sure to get those uh, tools because you're gonna need it. It's gonna be really difficult to do this job without, so it's worth the money. Uh, simple uh, setup here with a supplied adapter you just attach it to your drill and you go for it at first I was going high speed and that that is not the way you want to do it don't go high speed because it heats up and it just starts to make a mess it pretty much melts the adhesive and it goes all over the door instead you want to go nice and slow just like I show you here
Using this rubber disc is also safe on your clear coat. So I was confident I'm not gonna burn or damage the clear coat and the paint on the door. And that, that made the job so much easier using this uh, rubber disc. Next, 70% uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Actually removed the residue pretty good, even though I have somewhere around the house a uh, goo gone, which I'm gonna be using later. Next comes the trim. You gotta have real patience here because you wanna do a good job and remove all the residue of the tape. Here comes the goo gone, just to make sure that it gets everything off the panel and it uh, actually works really well. A few days later I got the clips in to repair the trim. Meanwhile um, the right side is completely back in position. All the suspension com components, everything brand new. I also finally received the other arm. So over the weekend I will complete the rear suspension job and hopefully I can get you the video uh, posted on YouTube so you can view it. For now, let's continue with the repair. I've cleaned the trim as best as I could. Looks brand new. Um, by the way, there is a stamped part number here for the panel. I see no reason replacing the panel because if I do, uh, the 15 year old trim will show the difference because uh, the sun and the weather made its job and it's probably gonna be different in color those are the clips uh, the part number they are six dollars each canadian dollar so not cheap let's open up and begin the installation uh, the guy also recommended to buy this uh, adhesive promoter which i'm gonna be uh, using soon one more uh, go with the alcohol here to make sure there is no um, no dust no oil installing the clips in position first this time the panel receives all six clips not like from the factory um, fluid film just to make sure that those clips are protected and they slide a little bit easier into the holes on the door. I don't know if it's necessary, but I did. Why not? Now comes the promoter. He told me to rub the plastic piece <coughs> and not the metal, the actual plastic. Uh, smells really weird. It's not just uh, alcohol. It feels weird uh, on fingers. Carefully position the tape. I'm taking my time to make sure that it's positioned uh, well.
I've decided to add one extra piece here where the edge uh, got separated over 15 years to make sure it has uh, some more strength to the door. So first of all I'm gonna install uh, it back on the door. I'm gonna engage all the clips before uh, sticking the tape. So I'm slowly pulling the uh, release tape and at the same time um, adhering the panel to the door and actually it worked really well. And here is the result. Super happy with the result. Uh, the panel seems to be glued really well and hopefully it will last uh, for a very long time. And now I have the tape, I have the tools just in case I will need to redo the rest of it. No problem. Yes, it takes uh, quite a bit of time, but it's doable by yourself. So pretty happy, pretty happy because it was bugging me all summer long, just didn't have time to repair it. What uh, also makes me happy is that the doors are, are not rusted behind the panel, so Volvo has uh, done a good job here on protecting the metal. Anyway, the arm is uh, in, finally. Over the weekend I will complete uh, the job, meanwhile I'm using the 240 as a daily driver. This is my wife's V50, a hot cup of coffee and this is the product I recommend for uh, making your trim look like new. Works really well, not cheap but does a really nice job all around the car, makes the trim looks new. I hope that you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe. Keep an eye on the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.